Hey there, my name is Marcus Graham, the creator behind Papa Sonata. Papa Sonata is an 18 minute seamless combination of animation and film to tell the story of a father whose job is to build homes for others, yet fails to realize that his own is slowly falling apart. Each character in the film is a tinted silhouette of a live actor with a different color that represents their characteristics, personality, and age. There's no dialogue in the film. Instead, it's narrated by piano music the mother plays at home and percussive drumming at the father's work. We see the family's relationship over a 10-year period as it falls apart over time, triggered by an economic crisis, forcing the father into working longer hours in order to retain his home and job. This becomes reflected in the piano music as the percussive drumming from work begins to bleed into the mother's piano. As the father becomes more and more consumed in his work, so does his home, which is slowly becoming a blueprint. No longer a home, but the idea of a home. And on top of all of this, he's about to learn that this is the mother's final sonata, Papa's sonata. Papa's sonata is essentially the entirety of a father's life condensed into a montage, each scene working like a vignette, using repetition to convey this never-ending downwards monotonous cycle of his life. To show the viewer that we're moving through time, almost every, every object has multiple stages, with over 1,000 changes to over 10,000 2D and 3D layers designed in a traditional watercolor storybook style, with the son's crayon drawings scattered, from the son's crayon drawings scattered around the house that tell a story in themselves of the son's view of his relationship with his father, to multi-stage billboards, newspapers, trees, bird's nests, an entire construction site from beginning to end, all inside a dynamic lighting and weather system that changes throughout the seasons. The irony to this is that the father refuses to see these changes around him and, as a result, fails to change himself. Our original musical composition is in the foreground of the film, not some tacked on external aesthetic, but a real physical human element. The film's language is music, and as the mother grows old, the son moves away, this piano music becomes weaker and shrouded by the drumming until the sonata finally reaches its dramatic end, along with the mother, the last thing that made that house a home. And as she lays there on the floor in a film full of music, there's none, there's silence, and we're left with the father sitting alone in the house now, devoured by the blueprint, the sound of his clock ticking growing louder and louder until we can physically hear the gears inside the clock grinding, tick, tick, tick. Papa Sonata has been my life for the past four years. All the sound, animation, and music is in place, and we've already had myself and another sound designer go over it. It will be released in the festivals Q1 of 2017. If we win, our goal is to create a really solid 5.1 mix. This is a film that cares about sound. It doesn't treat as an afterthought. It's ingrained into the narrative. So, yeah, I think I've gone over time. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, I must have spoken that way too fast. I'm really sorry. Anyway. <laughs>